Hi class, what I want to do in this quick video is show you an application of these confidence intervals in uh, some type of poll. You know, we've all seen, you know, public opinion polls, or survey research polls, or political polls um, to show you an application of confidence intervals and also to show you how to use your graphing calculator for this. Okay, so in a recent poll of 1,000 Americans, it was found that 55% disapproved of the federal government's response to the coronavirus. Now, I just made this up, but that's been roughly what polling has been to date. All right, so all I have here is this right here is my N, and this right here is my P hat. Okay, so just changing that to a proportion, it's 0.55. All right, let's construct a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of Americans who disapprove of the federal government's response to the coronavirus. Okay, one thing you are going to need when you go to use your calculator here is you're going to need the number of people out of the 1,000 who disapproved of the federal government's response. So to find that, you're going to take the 1,000 adults in the poll, and you're going to multiply that by p hat, and it looked like 550, okay, of the 1,000 people, okay? So construct a 95% confidence interval. So to do that, you're going to go to your calculator. You're going to hit the stat button. You're going to go over to tests. And what you're going to scroll down until you see what's called the one dash proportion Z interval. That's what you want. You want one proportion because we're only dealing with one proportion here, and it's a Z interval, so you're going to hit Enter. Okay, the first thing it's going to say X. Well, we're trying to figure out the proportion of people who um, disapproved of the federal government's response, so that was that 550. Okay, that's why I had to find that first. N is the sample size, so that was the 1,000 people. The confidence level will always be defaulted to 0.95, so we're going to leave that there. We're going to hit calculate, and this is going to be our answer. So it's going to be from 0.5, I'm going to round it to two decimal places, 0.52 to 0.58. What this means is we are 95% confident that between 52% and 58% of Americans disapprove of the government's response. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward uh, using our graphing calculator right there. All right, so the next part says, and this word's maybe a little bit tricky, what is the margin of error for this poll? Okay, so how, how are we going to find that out? Well, the easiest way to do this, remember from your confidence interval formula, is it's your point estimate plus or minus the margin of error gets you one of these um, ends. When you add it, you get the upper the margin of error, you get the upper interval. When you subtract it, you get the lower interval. So to find the margin of error, just take the upper interval, 0 0.58, and subtract away the point estimate that you had, the p hat. That's telling you that the margin of error here was 0.03 or 3%. So let me write that in here. Margin of error equal upper limit minus point estimate or 0 0.58 minus 0 0.55, which got me 0 0.3. So it's 3% margin of error. All right, great. Now the next question here. Does this interval provide ev evidence that a majority of Americans disapprove of the federal government's response to the coronavirus? So first you have to ask yourself, what constitute a majority in terms of a percentage? Well, a majority is anything greater than 50%. So as long as you have some number greater than 50%, um, you're a majority. All right, so we know that the proportion of or even the percentage of people who um, disapprove of the federal government's response is not exactly 55%. That's just from 1,000 adults. 
Okay, or a thousand Americans. But what we're saying is, look, I don't know what the real value is, but we're 95% sure it's somewhere between 52% and 58%. Well, that confidence interval is strictly above 0 0.50, strictly above 50%. So the answer here is yes, because our confidence interval is above 50%. All right, class, I hope this help was helpful, but the, the key thing here is your calculator will find the confidence interval for you super quickly. So just to rehash, to find the confidence interval, it's stat, you're gonna scroll over to test, you're gonna scroll down then until you see one dash proportion Z interval. Okay, that's how you're going to use confidence intervals for these proportion problems. All right, class.